Okay, I've been having trouble with my phone lately. What's happening is it doesn't answer. This is the normal way it answers. The phone's ringing, and I can press answer or decline. I'll decline in this particular case. What's happening is it rings like that, good as gold, except the screen's complete, virtually completely black, except it's got a little bit up the top here. Not this bit that I'm show, uh, this show here, but some other bits at the top there. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, that's one of my problems. All right. I still haven't solved the problem. I have no idea why it does it, because it doesn't do it all the time. It only does it some of the time. Okay. Uh, and... I don't. I haven't been able to repeat it working from home, uh, at home here. I ring with my landline when the phone actually connects. It will always work. Um, but uh, my problem is, as I said, the phone rings. It's ringing, and it's a blank screen. I've got nothing to touch. The only button I can touch is the on-off button. And when I touch the on-off button that hangs up the call, then I've got to ring the person back. Perhaps it's a trick on behalf of the, te the telecommunications companies to make more calls, but then they don't charge per call now, those. All right. All right. So that's one issue. A separate issue I found is a uh, call logs. I want to go back and see all the calls that I've made. Right. And I found the normal way to do that is I go into the dialer down here, which is, I thought it was called a dialer. It's actually called phone. I go into that. Right. And it gives up a couple of screens with three, four or four parts. This is the people that I ring quite often. All right. Okay, I'm not going to ring that. I'll oh, hang up there. All right. So uh, that's that screen, which is the, whoops, I don't want to do that. Once again, you just touch something and you don't want to do it. That's the favorites that you use. Over here, all the calls that I've made. No, yeah, all the calls I've made. And over here are your contacts. So I thought that was the main screen of doing that. I've since found out. That's not the case. This is a particular thing called a dialer or a phone app. And there are other apps that do this sort of thing. But also they're done slightly differently. To give an example, if I come back to the home screen now and I slide up, so I've got a list of all the apps installed on my phone. And I go here and I type in phone, P-H-O-N-E. It comes up with the phone one. Right, which is the same one that's on the screen, all right, at the bottom of my screen. All right, I'll come out of that just to show you that it is that. It's that one there, okay, which I have on one of my fast uh, things at the bottom of the screen so I can use it all the time. However, I thought when I went into that and then I went into, for example, the, that one there, which is all the call logs, that that was uh, a part of that, that particular app. Apparently it's not. There's a separate app for this. Well, when I say I think it's a separate app because it looks slightly different. To give the example, okay. So if I come out of that, scroll up the so you can see all, all of the programs. I could search through until I find it, but I'll tell it to search for them and just tie a call log or calls, call history. There it is there. That's a different app. You'll notice it's got a different icon on there. If I touch that, it comes up with that, and it comes up with a screen like this. It says all missed, outgoing, and incoming. I thought that was the same program, but apparently it's not the same program, okay? It's done differently, and it has different settings. Perhaps it is the same program, but because you go into it differently, it gives different settings. I don't know. I haven't checked all that through, okay? Same goes for contacts. I thought contacts were the same as part of your um, dialer thing. So if I go into there and I go into contacts, there's a list of contacts, heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of contacts, okay? But if I go up there, I go to the All Apps screen and type in contacts. Okay, there it is there. It's a different icon again. Okay, so I go into that one, and there we are. Notice it's slightly different. It says 308 contacts, and it's got this alphabetical index on the right-hand side. I don't know if it's the same program, part of the same program or not. Doesn't really matter because what a you know I can work my way through it and work my way through that. But I'm sure the average person doesn't realise that they've got three or four different programs for for uh, or apps on a phone for actually doing your di dialing on your phone. Okay, let's go back to the original problem I had. My original problem was I wanted uh, uh, not the original problem of not being able to answer the phone, but the original problem being knowing which calls I have received. 
So if I go into that screen, I'm not going to dial up, and I go into the call log there, here's one, you'll notice home, and it says seven. There have been seven calls. If I touch that, nothing happens. If I touch that, it opens up and shows home, and obviously I can touch the phone, and it says recent, and it says one, two, three. On another screen somewhere, I've found sometimes when you do that, I touch it, right? It doesn't show three, but it shows three plus more at the bottom and shows some more. However, that's not what I'm used to. Years ago, when I first got Android phones, I had a one that actually showed me uh, call details. I want to know all the call details, not only for the last three calls, but all seven calls that I've got on here. Yes, seven calls, right? I've found, if I touch that, Right, no, that's only the three. Okay, okay, we'll go into it again. All right, if I uh, call the call log again, I touch that part of it. Ah, I get a different screen. Comes up home, send a message, block numbers, and importantly, what I was interested in call details. If I do that, it gives me a list of all the call details, not the re recent ones. Hold on, is it? Is it seven? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, okay. Right, so it gives me the call details. So one of the, the big issue I have here is Android, in their wisdom, have decided to add more features to their, uh, to their phones and that. And that's not a problem. I've got no worries with that. Okay, it's good that you've got more features. But they keep the existing features, but they sort of hide them somewhere. In other words... To get to that original, that screen I just did, I have to touch on the word home. I can't just touch on the little H there. That comes up with a different screen, right? I have to touch on the word home. It's a different area again. And if I touch over here, obviously, on the phone, oops, it doesn't go back to there. On that bit there, it'll actually make a call, all right? So, but no, nothing tells you that. There's nothing on the screen that tells you if you want to do this, do that. If you want to do that, do that. If you want to do that, and do that. I'd even be happy if it didn't tell me on the screen, but it had a, a little section here that said help. Like if I touch that, and it said help, right? How to use the, the, the dialer, how, how to use the call uh, logs. But there's nothing. In fact, what you do, I've, I've looked it up on the internet. In fact, I'll go here and go into uh, um, Newpipe. I looked it up earlier, and I thought I would go in and see uh, the search for phone call logs. There's lots of videos, and there might be something written on it, telling you something about Mr. Trump, things about iPhones, I don't have an iPhone, another thing about Trump, a whole lot of stuff like that, lots and lots of videos about all sorts of things, but no information at all about how to check your call logs and how the different screens go, go about. So my criticism of all modern apps on phones is you either know it or you don't. The only way that you know it is to experiment and try out. Nobody tends to tell you anything. So if you want to work out how to get to a particular screen, you've got to do all sorts of gestures. And by the way, these gestures could be anything. It could be slipping left to right, right to left, up and down from the top, bottom, from the bottom up, you know, the bits at the bottom here, there's all sorts of gestures. So how in the hell can Mr. Average Joe Blow, who has no concept at all of information technology, learn to use a phone when all half the things are all hidden in different ways, right? In under different gestures, under different screens, etc. right? So that's my gripe. Anyway... That's enough about that, but if anybody knows why my phone won't answer, won't, has no screen to answer it when it rings, I'd be a lot to know. Bye.